Who would have thought that the one channel who saved us from all darkness, who have been criticizing YouTubers for bad content for years now, would also be the man behind an even greater evil one? I'm talking about tearless videos. So, the thing with unpopular opinions on these websites and on the internet in general is that they tend to never be a good idea and you shouldn't really express them to others, but that's what I'm doing today. Back to the topic. On April 25th, YouTuber iDubs uploaded a video titled Fast Food Tier List, in which he ranked 19 fast food restaurants on a tier list ranging from F tier to S tier. iDubs later in the video issued a challenge for other YouTubers to make their own versions of the list. And this, of course, got the attention seekers on this platform's interest, and they did their own tier list videos on all kinds of topics, and I truly mean all kinds of topics. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> iDubs is known to call out people for bad content. People tend to follow his ruling on what's good and what's bad content. So if iDubs uploads a video, then that must mean it's considered good content, or at least okay, doesn't it? Humans love to categorize different stuff. It's how we manage so well as a species. Since the dawn of the first day of YouTube, there has been topless videos where people rank different stuff based on their own opinions. And it's arguably the biggest genre, if we can call it that, on YouTube. And that is fine if you like it. Heck, if you like Watch Mojo, go for it. I won't judge. But it's not that good. Come on, but I won't judge. They're the modern day Davids and Goliaths. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 times anime weaklings defeated powerful opponents. What? What? My problem is not the terrorist videos, nor the ranking videos. My problem is the zero effort videos of the terrorist videos. They look identical to each other and they don't require much work at all. And what I don't get is that people actually buy into it. Come on, there's plenty of good videos out there. And there's creative top tier videos that there is a lot of work behind. But now they're getting foreshadowed by these videos? That's not very fair to either of us. This may be an unpopular opinion or not but it needs to be addressed because the viewers deserve some decent content after all. Come on, we had a rough year with teasers taking over YouTube and our precious memes about to get banned. We deserve some actual good content because this is your profession after all. This has been a short video, but I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.